Hi, and welcome to the Developer Diary of Champions of Ontario. Discover Champions of Ontario, a real-time strategy game set in a colorful, heroic fantasy world. In Champions of Ontario, you will need tactics and strategy to complete your adventurous journey. Let's plunge deeper into the gameplay and find out what your champions are really capable of. First, let's take a look at what makes tactics so important in Champions of Ontario. Our game features a strong magical system. It manifests through five different magical elements. Metal, nature, lightning, water and fire. Every unit, every being in our game is aligned to one of the five elements and their abilities draw power from that element. The combat system is influenced by this magical belonging. The magical elements work in an expanded rock-paper-scissors which dictates which element is efficient against which. Our champions are also attuned to these magical elements. Notice how metal does increased damage against nature. There are some effects and abilities that can play with the elemental alignment of a unit. Anslem, for instance, has more of a supporting role. He can affect enemies and allies with different effects. Early on, he is very useful to change an enemy's element to lightning, making Nusala's attacks more effective. Every champion has a unique special ability based on their fighting style. For example, Nuzala, she's more of a damage-dealing character, and her damage is normally nature. Her gameplay revolves around arrowheads. She can pin up three arrowheads on multiple targets and then detonate them for different effects. The tactical nature of our game is enhanced by the fact that the player can pause the action at any time to better assess the situation. Once you know your enemy, you can create your own strategy by giving your champions up to four actions you want them to perform. For example, movement, abilities, or attacks. Depending on your enemy's positioning, adapting your strategy can be very valuable and crucial to winning a battle at times. Champions of Ontario is all about the player's strategy in defeating his enemies in freeing Ontario. You can view your progress and the progress of your enemies on the world map. The world map view gives you a broad perspective of your objective. You have to expand your influence by conquering all the territories. You have full freedom over how you wish to approach this goal. You can focus on a certain region or try to slowly expand in all directions. This part of the game is turn-based. Each day gives you the option where you can attack or defend territories. Territories award you with either renown or gold every turn. So choosing which territory you wish to attack next can impact your progression. You can increase a territory's gain or delay attacks by building upgrades on them like this superior fortification. There are three factions you have to fight against. The Dune tribe, a tribe of Amazon warriors, or the Broken Crown, a mercenary army, and the Frostbeards, a faction of sturdy barbarians. The more territories you let the factions control, the faster they will level up and attack your territories. This makes the whole campaign more and more challenging. Each faction has its own leader, units, and culture. They all fight for a reason, which you will soon discover. Defeating a faction awards you with extra abilities for your champions. The village is the player's home base. The champions find it in ruins at the start of the game and need to rebuild it during the course of the campaign. It is divided in sectors that you have to unlock with watchtowers. Each sector has a limited number of predefined slots on which you can build on. Buildings produce different resources. When building, you have to pay attention on the bonuses that the sector or the buildings give each other when placed in the same sector. There are three crafters in the game. The Magister Machine is an engineer that builds devices that you will be able to use during fights. The Alchemist creates potions. The Blacksmith upgrades the gear and weapons of your champions. To unlock new recipes for the crafters, you have to invest your earned renown wisely. When enough renown is spent, the player's faction levels up. 
At every level, the champion's power will grow. You gain access to new buildings, and you can also unlock new sectors in your village. Every time the castle is upgraded, the champions become more powerful. You will be able to specialize your champions with abilities that will change the way you play with them. I was really happy to walk you through this quick presentation of Champions of Anteria, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and see you on the 30th of August for the release exclusively on PC. Off into battle! <laughs>